It's in the kitchen with David, your kitchen reimagined, and it's a one time only value. Now, when the show is over at 1059, this deal will be done. And this is from Germac, one of our favorite snacking companies. And they bring us everyone's favorite combination. Now, raspberry and dark chocolate. Sure, there are some other goodies in here as well because every one of the mixes from Germac is a true recipe. So what you're going to really enjoy is the dark chocolate, the raspberry crunch, lots of other melties that are going to make this really fantastic. We have not yet reached our melty cutoff, so you can still order this, but there is no auto delivery on this. So if you want to buy more than one set, and that would be advisable at our great price tonight, store these in a cool, dry place and unopened and that precious seal intact. These will remain good for a year. Now, we're awfully excited tonight because we have a special guest that we don't get to see very often from Germac. His name is Frank Germac. And uh, yeah, it's the fourth generation of a family owned business. This is the head dude. He's called the Craft Roaster. Is that right, Frank? <laughs> I've been called that before, yes. Good to see you, David. Great to be on your show. It is great to have you back, sir. As you know, I'm a huge fan of your brand. I'm a huge fan of your snacks. And today we're talking about everyone that has a love of both raspberry and dark chocolate, right? That's right. This is a great combination and it really hones in on a classic dessert. If you think about a lot of desserts, many have dark chocolate and then also uh, a bit of raspberry. So we, we put that flavor combination together. We added a couple things too. Now, as I pour this big, generous <laughs> 17 ounce jar into the bowl, there are lots of other goodies inside here. Now, Frank, if you can see your monitor from where you're standing, we've got a little platter here that has all of the ingredients inside. And hopefully we can shoot down on this so you'll be able to see it a little better. And you can, uh, you can walk us through what's inside because this is truly a recipe. Sure. Yes. Well, everything we do is a recipe and we've had time to balance them out so they've got the right amount of crunch, the right amount of sweet, the right amount of nuttiness. Uh, so the first item you see there is our dark chocolate raspberry filled uh, cup. And this is made by a chocolatier uh, five hours down the road from us here in Chicago. Uh, we've worked with them for years. And this brings together that smooth raspberry filling and then that dark chocolate uh, covering on those little cups. So this is my favorite item. I could eat these all day. They're, mm. they're delicious. Now, Frank, from there we go to these uh, candy coated chocolate pieces, these gems. Sure. So this is a relatively new thing that we've added. We found that some people like dark chocolate, some people like milk chocolate. Um, and then some people, when they buy our mixes, they look to kind of go through and pick out the ones that they like. So uh, there is a milk chocolate at the center of these red gems. We call them gems. And then a crunchy uh, red coating on the outside. It also gives a little bit more of a crunch uh, to this mix. Now, from there, we go into my favorites, the almonds. Sure. So these come from the uh, Central Valley of California. Uh, we bring them into our facility. We roast them in canola oil. We add just a little bit of salt, and that's it. So uh, these almonds really give you that crunch, that satisfying crunch that's a great complement uh, with, with all the chocolate in the mix. From there, we go into some beautiful fruit. Tell us about this. Sure. So this also comes from Central California, and these are jumbo flame raisins. So these are not the raisins you get out of a little red box. These are jumbo flames. These are very large. Um, they're, they're not hard at all. And um, uh, these, these uh, are from very large grapes. I guess it's the best way I can put it because these are not little tiny hard raisins. And then we've got peanuts. Sure. Um, so we batch roast these as well uh, in canola oil, add just a little bit of salt and that's it. And um, it, it's, a, it's a great complement to the raisins next door and uh, helps round out this mix with another nut uh, in the combination. And then finally, are those peanut butter drops, Frank? Those are, those are peanut butter drops. So uh, the, the name of the product is Dark uh, Chocolate Raspberry Crunch, but we found that just a little bit of peanut butter uh, with these morsels, they melt on your tongue, they add a different uh, flavor that complements the rest of the, of the mix. Now, we've got a little uh, vintage video here that'll take us back and probably take you back when we start oh, looking sure. at some of these photographs. Tell us what we're looking at. Sure. Well, that was my grandfather and his brother started the company in 1924. This is our Eastern Market Detroit factory. 
Uh, we, that's Wally. Wally the Warehouse, been with us for 38 years. The famous Wally. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, everything about Germac, we roast it in-house, we pack it in-house, and we ship it directly to customers. It, this does not go to some warehouse. It does not get uh, tossed around, jumbled around, and which leads to broken pieces. There's yours truly right there. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're very proud of the fact that we do everything in-house. We bring it all in. We ship it out fresh. And um, uh, it, it, it means that things come to you without pieces broken, without dust on the bottom. Uh, we're very proud of how our product arrives. Yeah, if you look at the bottom of this container, there's no shrapnel. There's nothing for you to think about in terms of, you know, oh, well, all the dust and all the stuff will settle to the bottom because there is none of that. Now, we should sure. also point out, Frank, that these have a freshness seal on the inside. You don't break this freshness seal. This is good for how long? These are good for one year. If you store them in somewhere, somewhere cool and dry, in the pantry is fine, but they'll stay good for one full year. And uh, also these jars, they're 17 ounces, they're, they're large. If you, if you can reseal them and uh, then they're, they'll, they'll keep as, just as well. Well, Frank, we've got a special guest with Julia at our tasting table tonight, and I have been hearing I'm going <laughs> across the way. Like, a lot of munching over here. Folks, what's going on? Oh my goodness, this is one of my favorite mixes yet. So often you get a mix where you're like picking and going through. This is handful worthy, right, Mark Charles? Well, what I also love about this mix is I like picking out the certain things and putting different combinations together. Oh. So I like taking like the cup and then the peanut, peanut butter, or then I take the peanut and the ra raisin. So I love that because you get different flavor profiles when you mix the two together, mm -hmm. you know, each one's together. So I love that. That's a good idea. And all the different textures, from yeah. the creaminess of those peanut butter drops and the oh, crunchiness yeah. of the nuts, it's perfection. And the cups. Oh, I love the cups. Oh, I like the Snuff. peanut butter drops, my favorite, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. And what this is, is a true recipe. Mm -hmm. You take a handful of this and pop it in your mouth, and then everything about this behaves and coordinates so nicely with the other flavors. I'm telling Frank this like he's never heard it before. He's the one who invented it. So this is what it's all about. We should also point out, Frank, and you know how I love to stack the jars. You're getting two of these giant 17-ounce jars. Now, there is no auto delivery on this. Now, 1,500 right. sets also, have been we're ordered. We're close to our chocolate cutoff. And you know, for us, that means we can't ship anything after approximately mid-May. So um, we cannot ship this after that point. The, the temperature rises too much. Too many of them get melted. So it's a great idea to maybe buy a couple, couple orders. Um, uh, so anyways, and then when we come back in the fall, we'll be happy to sell some more. Now, Frank, if we buy more than one set tonight, and, uh, and a lot of people are, what is your best advice for storing it so it stays nice and fresh for us? Sure. So as long as it's out of the sun, the sun is not going to work very well, especially with the um, raspberry cups. And as long as you keep this somewhere, maybe in a pantry would be uh, the best spot. And um, hopefully they're not there that long because, you know, I personally love them. I open them all the time and eat some myself. So um, uh, great for, um, you know, snacking with uh, folks around the television. Great for game night. Great for book club. Um, I like uh, to bring these in place of a bottle of wine uh, because sometimes you go to a party, maybe the bar is already set. This product will end up in a bowl in the middle of the table. Everyone will jump in and it becomes part of the discussion. Uh, no one has seen these in the supermarket before, so it's just one more, one more thing that makes this product unique. I will tell you, there should be a warning on the label that if you get in front of the television eating these and it's a really great show and you get into the show, all of a sudden you're going to look down and the, and the and jar's going to be empty. And you're going <laughs> to think to yourself, oh my goodness, it must have a hole in it because there's no way I ate all this mix. Yes, there is. <laughs> Yes, I mean, you're going to love Germac so much, you're going to have a hard time sharing it. I hope you will share it. Maybe you'll get a, an extra set tonight. This is a true recipe. Now, Frank, if we can, just real quickly, we're going to come, bring our camera in, shoot down on this plate of ingredients, and we'd love for you just to rock it right through all these ingredients. We only got about a minute and 30 left. So let's start here with your I, favorite I see cup. the timer there, so I'm going to do my best. Okay, okay. that is a dark chocolate raspberry filled cup. Uh, made from our chocolatier in Chicago. Mm -hmm. Next to that, those are milk chocolate uh, gems with a red candy coating, uh, brings a little bit of crunch. Next to that, those are our California almonds. We bring them straight from California, roast them in canola oil, add a, just a touch of salt, and that's it. Uh, next to that, also from California, are jumbo flame raisins, not little tiny ones. These are, these are flame raisins, chewy, uh, delicious. Uh, next to those, uh, those are our batch roasted, everything we roast is in-house, 
Um, peanuts, again, roasted in canola oil, canola oil and it's a touch of salt. And finally, as a new flavor to this mix, but a great compliment to a lot of the products, these are peanut butter drops. They melt on your tongue, uh, add a little bit of a peanut butter flavor. It, it goes well if you just want to put them with a the peanut, just with the, with the raisin. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, it all works together. Or you can just eat or them alone. Can... Just kind of keep picking them out until they're oh, all gone. Sure. Hey, oh, I need to remind hey. you that this one-time only value price only good until 10:59. It's now 9:28, <laughs> and when this is gone, it's gone for good. In this show, we've already taken orders for 2,500. We have another. Okay. How many people on the phone lines? 700 people waiting to place an order. Don't wow. miss out on this opportunity. Frank Jermack, what a pleasure to have you back, sir. Oh, it's great to be on your show, David. Thank you. Thank you for being here. It's always a pleasure. Take good care. Thank you very much. Bye-bye now. All right. I'm going to get ready for today's special value. Julia's going to remind you of another one-time only value.